Going to cover the gcloud config command. This is a very useful command if you have multiple Google projects and you can switch between them pretty quickly and easily. So uh, the gcloud config command, basically there's a configuration sub command here where you can list all your configurations you kind of have. You probably have only the default configuration kind of set up because uh, most people just go through the gcloud init and that sets up like a default configuration and that's what you, you use most of the time. But you can actually create multiple configurations and then you can switch between them very easily by activating them, okay? And then you can set values within each configuration once you've activated one uh, with these other commands here, uh, essentially the uh, actually gcloud config level actually. So I'll show you kind of demo this and kind of go right through it. So first we're gonna list all the configurations right here, gcloud config configurations list. Okay, and you can see I have like a default configuration kind of set up right now with the example project right here. And I also have the compute default zone, compute uh, the default region are all, all, all configured. And I just wanna really explain what's kind of happening here. Okay, so uh, these configuration files are actually written to uh, dot config in your home folder and then gcloud and then configurations. There's a folder in there and there's a config default in there. So this is what's being written to. If you cat it out, you can see basically it just writes, uh, writes some properties into this file here, okay? So you can actually manipulate these files kind of directly or let's say you ran the command and you did something accidentally incorrect, then you could actually just go in here and fix it pretty quickly and easily. Another important file within the gcloud uh, kind of a folder here is actually the active config file. So active config file, that points to what's active. See, I cat it, it's just basically pointing to default right now. So you can actually manipulate all these files kind of directly here because that's all the kind of CLI tool is kind of doing. It's uh, It does validate that the account and uh, it's actually active and everything too. So it does a little bit more than I just manipulate these files, but I like to kind of know what's kind of going on uh, with the files actually themselves, just in case you need to fix it. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go and create another configuration here and kind of walk through the process now. So gcloud config configuration is create, and you can always provide help like this by just uh, running help right here. And you can see uh, the kind of additional commands that you can have having everything. And that's the configuration level. If you do at the config level, then basically it's whatever active config is kind of activated. And then that's what you can set the, uh, essentially the properties on, okay? So we're gonna just go ahead and uh, create another configuration right here. And we notice it says create and activate it. So it activates it kind of right away. So that means uh, that this uh, is rewritten to dev now. See, it's, it's switched over. And you can also check with a uh, gcloud configurations list and you're gonna see it's active, it, uh, active, true right here is active. There's no properties, there's no accounts or anything set because this create command just kind of creates a, uh, a, a empty file essentially. So let's actually run this and actually set the property uh, up for the project. So the project is now upset, uh, updated and if you list that, you can see the project's now being populated here. You can also cat the file here under configurations and it'd be config dev here and you can see it's starting to populate that. So I'm gonna go ahead and populate the rest of this right now basically. Uh, G cloud uh, config set account and that's my account name right there and again we just do a list here that list is nice and pretty okay and then you can set the active um, region then you can set the active or the default um, uh, zone two okay and now if I basically uh, run this uh, list command now is the full things be populated okay so I did th that for uh, basically dev now I'm actually do the same thing for uh, for prod another account here if I have but instead of uh, basically um, doing via the CLI, I'm actually gonna show you, you could do it the same way here, config prod, okay? So I'm just basically um, creating another configuration manually here. Okay, if you list it, it's actually already available here. Okay, it didn't switch to the active because I didn't use the, uh, the CLI. Okay, and then what I can do is actually just go in here and grab this and basically copy it over and then massage it uh, to my needs exactly. So the only thing I need to really change is example uh, this example uh, project ID right here. So we change that. Now we could list the configurations. Look, exact same. Now the only thing I have to, haven't done is activate it, right? So how do you activate it? It's basically a uh, G Cloud configuration activate and then the name, so prod in this case, okay? And now if you do a list again, it is now activated, yeah? And to test everything kind of, uh, you could run just G Cloud commands here just to make sure that you have access essentially. And this is gonna show just zero instances because there's zero instances in these example accounts. I'm gonna go ahead and switch again. Um, let's activate at uh, this mm, dev, okay? And then we'll just do a list command again. All that is really against, there's no uh, VMs on these uh, projects here, so it's not listing anything, but it does it does make an API call and does uh, verify that their credentials are actually working properly. So once you kind of have all that, uh, you might even want to kind of get rid of the default. And so to get rid of the default, you actually can just delete this right here, okay? So I'm gonna delete that and look, list the configurations and it's not gone because it's no longer in that folder there. So that's pretty much it. That covers basically the gcloud command there, the gcloud config command and how you kind of 
uh, set up different configurations. I switched between the two, uh, all of them kind of quickly. Okay, thanks.